video as you can tell from the title is a huge pantry organization video and I'm so excited I've been wanting to do this video for freaking ever and I finally got around to it and it looks I'm so excited to share with you guys how we did the whole process it only took one whole afternoon evening so that's really great and our pantry is the hub for so much storage in our apartment and our little two bedroom apartment so I really needed to get my stuff together when it comes to organizing this so it would be very useful to us I also wanted to mention a couple other organization videos that I've done in the past in case you want some more inspo and maybe you don't like have a pantry in your house but you definitely have a closet. Um, I have closet organization videos I'll link down below as well as my makeup storage which was another really big task so if you guys want to see those videos I will link them and of course if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe I do a lot of organization content obviously here on my channel and I love it so if you have any other things that you want to see organized in our house then let me know in the comments I think that's about it for the intro all right let's get into the video so before I started organizing, the first thing I always like to do is make a plan and I like to do this on paper and just kind of write out what my goal is and how I want everything to look. Maybe do like a little sketch and for the things that I was going to put in baskets, I wanted to have a list of everything. So I kind of had a clear head on like what size to get and how many to get. I think this is really important to go into it and also the fact that you can just like overbuy items and then return things if they have a good return policy works really well just in case you end up using them all like I did. Um, but anyway, here are a couple clips from us shopping at HomeSense, finding the said baskets we use to organize. We're at HomeSense now, and I'm just trying to find baskets. These are kind of the only ones that they have, but they do have them in quite various sizes. So I think I might get a few of these. Again, they're not exactly what I wanted, but if this is all we have, I do like the fact that they're all matching and they are a little bit see-through. So we have baskets and I'm pretty sure we're buying all of them and each of the sets, well, these ones have three, this one has one, and then we have two more sets of three each down there, various sizes. I think the plan is to buy them all and then whatever we don't use, we will return. We're also getting a couple organizers for our cupboards just to make things easier and to stack them. Um, but yeah, this is what's happening. All right, so I'm back in the car now. Code's just putting away the cart, but we acquired all of the baskets and I decided to overbuy just in case we end up needing them. But um, HomeSense has a really good return policy. So if I don't need them, then I can just return them, which is really great. And um, came to around like 170, $177, which I was expecting around 200. So that's pretty good. Um, I knew that I would have to like pay to do this like it's not cheap I mean you could go to the dollar store but I think the baskets would be a lot smaller and I need really big ones I was actually kind of hoping for bigger than the ones that we got but we will make these ones work isn't that so fun shopping at home sense on a Sunday <coughs> bless you <coughs> again I know I'm allergic to shopping on Sundays too all right so we're about to get started I'm getting really really excited to do this but the first thing we had to do was take our before pictures and our before video clips so we got all that done and now we are going to empty the pantry completely I'm going to take well code's gonna help but I'm gonna take everything out and we're gonna lay it on the ground we don't have that much like counter space and stuff so we're just gonna lay everything out on the floor and that way I can get in and do a good vacuum of the bottom and just like clean anything up but then we can start fresh so let's do it So for actually taking everything out of the pantry, we did start with the bottom layer and then worked our way up. I just found this to be the easiest way to get things out of the pantry in a nice fashion, but also this is the best way to organize things by category on the ground or wherever you are laying everything out. This just made it super easy and very visual. Another thing I definitely recommend if you are cleaning out a pantry is obviously checking expiry dates. So every time we pulled something out, I checked the expiry or before it went back in, everything was checked and anything that was expired was disposed of. All right, we have everything cleared out of the pantry now. Cody is just organizing the boxes that go up there. These are like electronics that we still have, but they always have better sale value or resale value with the original box. So we're just trying to organize those. And since we have so much space that goes upwards, hopefully we can stack them to go up. 
And while Cody is doing that, I will show you guys what everything looks like once it's out of the pantry. We have so much stuff. I always forget like how big the pantry is, but it's insane. It holds so much. We have so much to organize. It just never ends also. Like there's stuff in my bedroom, there's stuff in the studio, cats are running around. Kind of a nightmare. Here's a little update. We have the toilet paper, paper towel in, and then we also put in the appliances over here. I'm not sure if the KitchenAid mixer is gonna stay, but for now, that's where it's gonna live. While Cody's taking the garbage down, I thought I would give you guys a little update. So I got some more bins in here. We got coffee stuff and tea stuff and espresso stuff. We also have a utility basket over there that has like batteries and light bulbs and stuff. A bunch of garbage bags and we have my everyday cleaning just so it's like way easier to get at if I need to do it in a hurry. Um, this basket is going to be laundry stuff and then that is other cleaning stuff. And I'm definitely going to label all the baskets. I just haven't decided how I want to do that yet. And then in the back we have Ziploc bags and then I organized the canned goods that we have as well. All right guys, so I would consider us about halfway done. We are currently three hours deep into the process, but I think we're about halfway. Um, so from the last time I updated you, I added all of these bins. I'm going to go in and fill the two that are empty. I know what, exactly what are going in them. And then I'm gonna go in at the very end and relabel everything, because I don't really like that font anymore. So I'm gonna go in and label everything like that. Um, I also put in some baking stuff in the back, like pre-made boxes of things that you like just add water to um, and then over here is more baking stuff again I'm gonna go in and relabel and actually label things that aren't labeled um, and then I have more baking stuff down here in bins but they these ones I guess oh I didn't even notice but these ones are all the gray tops so keeping all the white and keeping all the gray separate just for aesthetic reasons also it's so difficult to work with a pantry that has wire um, racks because everything like falls through and even like our spice rack we have to have this like placemat underneath so it doesn't fall through which is kind of annoying um, and things like this too need to be like on shelves or else it'll just like slide around so that's why I wanted to implement the bins but I only have like three two basically left so I have to figure out what I want to prioritize and put in those but yeah not the most ideal and I think we could get um, like liners for everything but I really don't want to do that because it's kind of expensive. So um, we're just gonna stick to this one section for having the placemat, but that's the update. When it comes to organizing your own pantry, obviously you want it to make sense for you and your family or whoever you're living with. So I kind of just kept everything the same way I had it before, just to make sense in my brain. And I didn't change up the format too much. So when I go into the pantry, I know exactly where certain things are, which is really important to me and also Cody. And another thing I wanted to mention is to wipe off any items that you maybe haven't used in a while. Just clean them off, clean them up, especially like oils that I wanted to show you guys here. And if you have multiple of them, you can dense them into one bottle or one section, take off the boxing and the packaging and stuff, and just really condense everything. It saves you so much room. Cody is currently sorting through all of our snacks and trying them to see if they're expired or not, because that is my least favorite task. And then he's going to organize them all into this bin here. Have you been trying? Most of them are expired, I'm assuming. Um, this one's expired. Okay. That sucks. We need to eat our food. <laughs> well, it's we, we go on these healthy kicks and we can't have carbs. These fun snacks. Fun snacks, yeah, true. You guys, it's looking so good. It's getting very full, but that was to be expected considering we keep so much of our stuff in the pantry. It's like not your typical pantry that just holds food. It literally holds everything for us, but it's definitely coming along. So most of the pantry organization videos I've seen on YouTube, they all talk about the containers they use and they show like them putting their stuff in. I've basically already done that as you guys can see from previous clips, um, but I did just quickly want to mention that I got my round ones, like a assorted set from Amazon and then the other ones I've just found randomly at HomeSense. Um, but this brand is OXO and they're so good because you just click it open 
open it and then click it again and then it's airtight and really secure so this last one that i actually have um empty i'm going to be putting in my protein pancake mix i get this at costco and it's really good but i just figured that i should maybe condense it get rid of the box kind of thing but because it is a mix i did print off a label that says like one cup mix one cup um water or milk just so i don't forget what the measurements are and then of course i have a label that says it's protein pancake mix so I'm gonna put that in here and then we're gonna label all the other things. I'm really excited about that. I did end up having one extra bag of the protein pancake mix, but that is totally fine because I actually got this bin that is going to be my extras bin, which I have a container in here because I need to fill it, but I have like extra soap and extra like flour and sugar and stuff. So this will just go in here and then I know where it is when I want to refill the bucket or the container. later we are complete everything is organized and labeled correctly let's cue some dramatic before and afters pantry transformation this is something I've been wanting to do for probably a full year this has never been an area that we have like taken time to decorate and to really use the space properly so I'm very happy with how everything turned out if you have any questions about where things are from though let me know in the comments and I can try and get back to you um, I'll try and like talk about a few things I mean our spice rack is from container store which I don't know if I mentioned but now that you can actually see everything um, and like I said these bins are from Amazon or we got them at HomeSense um, these drawers that I use for my sprinkles as well as the um, vitamins and things are also from the container store I use them to store my makeup as well but they're great um, I had extra ones and so this is like perfect they're so easy to use and that's pretty much it Everything else is like home sense or like randomly collected. So that pretty well wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in a comment down below what you want to see me organize in my house next. Um, subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.